All right, here we are. We are gonna be cleaning out the chicken coop. It's a dirty job, crappy job. Nobody likes it, but somebody's gotta do it. So, once a week, what I do is I come out here with the shop vac, and I vacuum up all the poop on the top ledge there, and the bottom ledge. Then I change the paper shavings in the egg boxes. Up there one of the birds likes to sit, so I make sure I get all the poop out of up there. And then I clean the ramp. And I clean the water bucket and the food. And uh, that's what I do once a week. Once a month, we do a deep clean and we actually change it. We take all the hay out of the bottom, sweep it out, vacuum it out, and get it really, really clean. So, I will pause the video and I will start vacuuming here shortly. We gotta wait for this hen to stop laying her, finish laying her egg. She's in there going, what the hell? Let me finish my egg. Actually, I'm gonna go get the egg basket and get the eggs out of here before I start vacuuming the poop up. I don't want any poop on the eggs. Poop on eggs is horrible. So, all right, I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be back with the egg basket and start to vacuum the poop up and show you the process. We're back. We have the egg basket. She's not done laying yet. But one thing you want to make sure when you're doing this is that you have the proper breathing equipment on and gloves. And when you're done, you want to make sure you wash your hands or take a shower so you don't get salmonella. Um, the breathing mask is because there is some Something in chicken poop that can mess your lungs up. I forget the exact name, but I was reading about it. So when I clean out the coop, I like to have a breathing mask on. So let me uh, get the eggs here, and then we'll start uh, vacuuming up. We're back. We're all done pretty much. Let that dry up and then I'll come through again and scrape it up. And I'll put in some new another layer of uh, shredded paper. So that's just our weekly kind of rough cleaning. Um. Once a month I'll do a big deep cleaning where I actually come out with a scrub brush and some water and scrub everything down. Um, I'll do a video of that when I do it soon. So, and then take the chicken poop that you collected. This is a 5 or 12 gallon shop vac so and you get pretty much fills it up. So we'll put this in our compost bin and it will turn into some compost for our garden next year so that's how we do our cleaning of our chicken coop once a week 